Welcome to Action Surrey's solid wall insulation video, where we will show you how a typical external solid wall insulation system is installed. Properties which were built before 1920, like these, and many system build homes were built with solid brick walls and are not suitable for standard cavity wall insulation. Instead, solid wall insulation can be used, which wraps a tea cosy around your home, reducing heat loss lowering fuel bills and cutting carbon emissions. So here's how it's done. To start with, prior to the insulation system being installed, all external wall fixtures and fittings will be taken down. Satellite dishes will be relocated and downpipes adjusted or temporarily replaced. Unless there are specialist fixtures such as copper pipes, your installer will normally do this for you as part of your installation. The walls are then thoroughly brushed to remove any algae and are washed with a fungicide. Next, a base rail is fixed around the outside of your house at damp proof course level. This is what the insulation board will sit on top of. The installer will lay the insulation boards in a staggered pattern overlapping them at the corners to provide strength and rigidity. To secure the insulation boards to the walls, specialist wall plugs are then inserted into the insulation boards. Don't worry if your property's walls are uneven, the installer will apply a wet fix which will smooth them out ensuring the final finish is even and straight. Careful attention will also be taken when fitting the insulation around windows with extensions being added if required to ensure the property's original features are not lost. Following this, a base coat is applied to the rest of the insulation to which a mesh is embedded into ensuring the entire facade is resistant to impacts. Additional mesh is then also installed in diagonal patches at all corners of openings to reduce stress, giving a completely robust system. Once dry, a second coat of adhesive is applied. Next, the insulation is ready for the final finish to start being applied. Typically, this will be a silicon render which is available in a wide variety of colours and textures which you can choose from. However, a number of other materials are also available, including pebble dash and brick slips. Your installer will work with you to find a suitable solution for your property. The final stage of the installation is for the previously removed fixtures and fittings to be reinstated. Your warmer and more energy efficient property is now ready for you to enjoy for many years to come. With the help of Action Surrey, many homeowners are already benefiting from having installed solid wall insulation. Here are some examples. Before installing external solid wall insulation, there are a number of things you should consider, including whether your property is listed or in a conservation area. If it is, planning permission will be required. It is always recommended to check with your local authority to see if you need planning permission before installing solid wall insulation. While this video has discussed external solid wall insulation, there is also the option of internal solid wall insulation, which, if your property has historical features which you wish to retain, could be a better option for you. Further details of internal solid wall insulation can be found on the Action Surrey website. Action Surrey manages a network of local and trusted solid wall insulation installers who will be able to guide you through each stage of the process, ensuring the best solution is found for you and your home. To find out more, contact Action Surrey today to speak to one of our energy advisors on 0800 783 2503 or email info at actionsurrey.org.